There is basically saying Candyman five times in the mirror. And you just don't want to go there because you don't want this nigga to come out of somewhere with a hulk and a beard full of bees because cause you had the audacity to go there. My name is Damon Young. I am the author of What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Blocker. And I'm a professional black person. The book is a memoir. It's a look at the, some of the anxieties, the angst, and the absurdities of existing while black in America. So some of the terms I have in the book, they're not necessarily in there to help people understand the black experience. They're in there because these are the terms that I use. And these are the terms that are most honest and most truthful. The power of language is, is crucial. When nations are colonized, language is often the first victim. And so owning that language and expanding on that language is a form of resistance. White people shit is just an encapsulation of things that are very unique to white people. Some white people shit that you see every day is artificial kamikaze, where because life doesn't give you enough thrills, um, you try to skirt death by coming as, as close to it as possible. And so you have your polar bear plunges, where instead of staying in bed, staying under your covers, drinking some motherfucking hot cocoa, you're jumping into a fucking toxic ass, <laughs> you know, you know, slush puppy. Whereas for black people, you know, just walking into a department store can um, can induce fight or flight. Ripping is a Pittsburgh area slang for the dozens or roasting and wherever you are in the country where young people talk about each other. And this is seen as being like this rite of passage. The reality is that ripping is hard <laughs> because coming up with those quick, you know, those quick comebacks and those quick insults right on the top of your head, that is hard and not everyone is good at that. Joan Rivers was also like great at the one-liner and at, at roasting. This woman obviously uh -huh. has a yeast infection and the doctor said to her, aerate it. <laughs> PTBD is post-traumatic brokenness disorder. That feeling is just connected to the overall tenuousness of, of money and income for, for black people in America. And it's something that I've experienced my entire life. I remember a time when my car was repossessed. A series of late paychecks from where I was working at the time just to set off a series of events where I ended up not paying my, my car note. Whenever I hear like the beep, 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 of like a large truck backing up in the street, my anxiety spikes a little bit because I sometimes think that it could be a tow truck coming to take my car away again. There, there is, is a metaphysical term. It's, it's more of like a concept. Like think of it, you know, as like a border fence that you just don't want to cross. So what doesn't kill you makes you blacker is also a critique on masculinity and a lot of the performance that goes into man making and man building and some of the the performance that I that I did. There's a story that I tell about a time I threatened a guy who took a piece of bacon off of my plate, and once he saw that I was maybe, just maybe, willing to go there over a slice of buffet bacon, he stood down. And so there is basically just a place you don't want to go. Especially you don't want to go there with a person who's willing to go there. There is basically saying Candyman five times in the mirror. And you just don't want to go there because you don't want this nigga to come out of somewhere with a hulk and a beard full of bees because, because you had the audacity to go there. <laughs>